Hello guys, what is going on? So um yeah I'm back. Um basically in the next few days I've got like an unboxing video. Uh, it's gonna be the Amazon Echo dot unboxing. You know it's not the expensive one, it's like the cheaper one because I don't I don't really see the point of getting a bigger one. I'm not like a huge speaker fan or anything like that. I'm not too bothered about speakers. It's better if you have the bigger one, but you know, for something that I just want to chat to and like show like just put on there for fun. Uh, I'm just gonna use it for that. So um, yeah, that's all I'm getting that for. Um, I think I think that's it for the news. I think. Anything? No, I don't think so. No, but hopefully I'll get that by the end of next week now. But yeah. Right. So anyway, get yeah, guys. It, let's get into the video. So as you can tell from the title, what I'm talking about today is like. I know every person says it, but like falling into the wrong crowd and shit, it actually, it actually happens, right? Because it happened to me, and well, not it. I don't, right, it's hard to explain, right? I could have lost three of my friends. I lost basically one. Yeah. But, right, so this is the story, okay? So, near me, there's a town in Essex called South End. And basically, South End, if you're f obviously. No, why am I saying, obviously, if you are from a different place, or different place in England, you will know that South End has the longest period in the world, I think. I think that was, but I don't know, because it's had so many, like, ruins and shit like that, that I don't know if that's true anymore. Um, yeah, but I hang about there most of the time, because it's got a town, like, if you live in Manchester, or you've got the Man Manchester shopping mall. If you live in London, you've got Westfield and all that. It's a bit like that, but it's like a town sort of thing. You know what I mean, right? It's outside nothing. And, yeah, like, it's, like, it's the closest place to me, and it's the closest place to my friends. So, yeah, that's that's sometimes where we hang about. And I've got this really good friend. Uh, I don't know, Well, his name's Dylan. He'll have a YouTube channel eventually. When he does, I'll put it in my recommended channels. Um, yeah, so I was out with him and a few other friends. And, um... Yeah, basically, we were just having a good time, and that uh, we were just messing about. Um, and I bumped into this, like, well, this kid was in town, and before this, I wasn't the best of friends with him, right? He wound me up for some reason. Uh, he wanted to fight my other friend or something like that. Really stupid. That, so, bear in mind, yeah, this kid is was kind of my friend, and he always wanted to start fights. He was one of them people who just would want to fight someone or show off like how muscly he is or it, it would just like to be above other people it would always have like even when the crown even when even when the clown craze came out you know when every one of them scary clowns i know a lot of people was faking it but he has to be the one who it's at his house and stuff like that he fakes it so he gets popular it's one of them people who get fake likes and everything if me and my friends have got a game, he's got to get that game and he's got to get better at that game than us. Just to, I don't know, just so we can be a better person. And to be honest, a lot of people saw that in him. Like, no one, I don't know a serious friend that he's got. Every friend he's got breaks up with him, like, every other week or, you know, it's just a pain in the ass being friends with him. Right, and my mum, like, my mum. My mum has had him round this house and I've been round this house and we've been in trouble before. And my mum, my mum never thought, he was a bad like well she thought he was a bad person right and i never thought he was a bad person like i thought he was just a bit of a dickhead sometimes and um all of that shit but this is proper right so i'm gonna tell you the story so i had a best best friend all right so one that i always go out with always sleep over and that. i had a best best friend right and uh basically um so i was out with dylan right at least he's probably my best best friend now but back then he like he was like in my best friend group but he was like i don't know but li this is like the time when we started getting like good friends like really good friends and um so me and dylan was out like i said and we met this kid who's one of them people and he wanted to have a fight with this other kid who me and my other mate just said like you're gonna leave it and we'll hang around with you so i hang around with him and um yeah, so that that was all good. He was like, oh, mate, since, uh, because we only hang around with, like, we only hung around with him for about an hour, two hours before he went. And he was like, right, mate, you, you used to be my best friend. We're going to have to catch up in South End again next week, just me and you and all that stuff. I was like, yeah, yeah, mate, let's do that then. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty fun. 
right? Because we've done, we've done just made up. He seems a bit. He was seeming funny and that. And um, the next week I meet him, he's proper friendly because this person, right? When he's friendly, he can be a really nice person. He can be caring, like funny. Um, but when he's in one of his moods where he just wants to be annoying, he he just he's just unbelievable when he's in one of them moods. It's like it's. He's a proper peace take when he's in a bad mood, but when he's in a good mood, he's a, he can be a really nice person. And um, basically, he was in a good mood, he was all like, oh, we're best mates and shit like that. Um, we was all having a good time, right, doing what we was doing. All of a sudden, he was like, do you want to buy some weed? I was like, what? Like, so, so this was coming out of nowhere, right? Um, and basically, like, I didn't say no, but... I went with him, if that makes sense. So that's my that's my bad, like that's my problem on my side, okay? So I, I decided to went with him. I didn't decide to go back to my house. So I, ju I just thought, oh, it, I won't do it. But if he wants to get in trouble, he can. But I'm not nothing to do with it. All right. So I went with him, and he met all these people, right? Um, I kind of knew them. He's a big group, and uh, he didn't really know them. But um, basically, right? I don't know if I just I messed up, right, I mixed up there, he didn't really know him and I knew him, right, and uh, there was like, yeah, we can get some weed for you and all that shit, so he had about seven pounds, right, on him, he was like, oh shit, I was like, what, he was like, Tyler, could you please pay three pounds and I'll buy you like a drink later or something, I was like, uh, what for, he was like, oh, because I haven't got the rest and if they've all sorted it out, I don't want to get in any trouble, I was like, yeah, mate, that's fine, gave him the money, he, right, so, off the list, right, off this point, we went to a field, and, yeah, he bought all of it, it was done, he, my other friend bought all the stuff for it, and then, yeah, so, this, like, this person who bought it, like, the one who's, I don't know if you're getting mixed up here, so, the person who's not my, like, who, who I went out with, the one who wants to fight all the time, yeah, he was the one who bought the weed, okay, and then my best friend, like, best, best mate, met up with him. it's so confusing, I wish I could say their names, but my best best friend come with me uh, in the end, he met me after, so this day he rolled up the weed, he bought it and uh, he was he was smoking it, he was like doing a puff, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I had a puff, and I was like, right, fuck this, I've got to go to my little stepbrother's uh, birthday food thing, right, restaurant thing, uh, I'm not going to do it anymore, I went off, I don't know what my best best mate done, I don't know if he'd done it or not, but I went off, I went over to, uh, like, at this time, it was just before Christmas, well, it was a little, it was about a month before Christmas, and all the shops, like, all these little stalls have started opening, where they've got big blankets and stuff, I was looking for Christmas gifts, and then I meet back up with them, uh, they're fine, uh, and everything, I was like, right, let's just carry on there, he was like, so, the person who wants to get in fights all the time invited me for a sleepover, I was like, okay, and, uh, this other person, like, my best best mate was like, I'm not holding a wee, like, it was like, oh, I bought it and that, right? So I stayed round his, and, uh, oh, I've got really itchy noise. I stayed round his, and it was all good, right? So I think this was a few days after, right? So a few days after, basically, we was in school, right? No, this was the last day of school before we broke up, yeah? This was the last day of school before we broke up. Um, in the morning, I get a text saying, I'm going to throw the weed. I was like, Why? He was like, and I'm going to say, look, you've you done it. I was like, why? So I rang him up. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, well, my mum's come into the house and she said she can smell something. I was like, all right, throw it away. And he was like, all right. Um, I went not throw it away. I was like, I, f I forgot what I said now. but And then he texted me saying, I'm going to throw it away. I was like, where, where? Because I was, I'm really, like, I was really scared because I didn't want to get in trouble. And if he threw it up, like, if he, he probably wouldn't, but if he'd done something really dumb, like, just throwing it out on the street, like, throwing it on the floor or something like that, we, like, that could have got us in proper trouble, right, and, uh, yeah, so, in the end, his dad ended up finding out, and he contacted the school and the police, I think, and, uh, said my name, said another person's name, and said my best best mate's name, right, so, we all had to go in, write statements, and that, uh, we all told, this was, bear in mind, this was the last lesson of the day, right, I thought, oh, great, I've got, I've, like, I'm going to Christmas, yeah, it's going to be all good. Uh, and it was literally the last lesson of the last day. So, I, as you can imagine, I was pissed off. Because, uh, uh, like, the last few Christmases, right, since 
I've like been caught vaping and stuff like that. So I thought, right, this year's gonna be a good year, right? None of this is gonna happen. But then this ends up happening. I'm really pissed off. I'm sitting in an isolation room uh, with this really nice teacher. She's just like, yeah, text your mum, explain what's happened. My mum ends up like believing me, like because I'm telling the truth. Me and my best best mates told the exact same statement. So this one person is obviously the lying one, right? And me and my best best mate was like, oh yeah, right, it's all good. And um, ever since then, he, right, I don't want to say too much, but that kid who always wanted to fight, he ended up getting robbed because he's, he snitched on the wrong person, okay? Let me just say that. He snitched on the wrong person, which he shouldn't, so therefore he got robbed. And um, no matter how good of a mate he is, which he ain't, because he got me involved with something that I didn't do. And it's just, he got robbed. If you snitch on someone, it's going to happen, isn't it? You've got to think who you're snitching on. But, um, yeah, that's basically the story. of um. But noth nothing much has happened there except he got robbed. I found out about it when I got back to school. And he's, he's all been left off by there. And I think he's all good now. It's just me and him don't talk. And, um, yeah, so I'll tell you the story, like, next video. Because it's story day today, right? It ain't, but for me it is. And, um... Yeah, so I'll tell you a story like next video how me and my best best mate ended up not like not not being friends but weren't allowed to be friends, right? So um yeah guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit different to the other videos, but um yeah, uh I will have another video up about an hour after this being uploaded probably, alright? So I'll see you later guys, thank you for watching.